All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, you inglorious bastards and magnificent bitches. Uh, let me adjust my seat. It is I, Dr. Mo, and we're back for my thought of the day. And we're going to talk about a couple of things today. Let's get the notes going. Open up the notes. We're going to talk about what's going on right now. China got <laughs> China panel probed U.S. cuck. Petitions. I mean, this is what happens when you get sent to ch suck Chinese cock, but we'll get into that. Um, we're going to talk about Donald Trump being back, his speech at CPAC. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Parler because it seems like they sold out to the big tech censorship. And by that, and fucking, we're going to talk about Biden bombing Syria again because why not? Let's, let's, let's bomb countries for no reason. But before we get into that, uh, we we haven't been posting on YouTube because um, we're getting strikes and videos removed. So it's just a matter of time before we're removed off the YouTube, just like we were moved off of Facebook and Twitter. So please like, share, subscribe, review, use the tools to like share us out there. Uh, share us on Facebook and Twitter if you can, just to fuck them, piss them off. Join us on Minds. <laughs> You know how it goes, Be become the all-tech revolution, but the best way to support us is really going directly to our website at www.thatsthepoint.squarespace.com and signing up for the email list and or considering becoming a member for $5 a month and getting the various benefits that come with that. But the choice is up to you, free or paid membership, the best way to support us is at the website directly and if you do decide to become a member for five dollars a month you'll get a, a one-time mug with the logo on it become part of our just that seems to be the thing that a lot of us right-leaning I, I wanted I, I was gonna say conservative but I'm not really conservative my dog needs to stop eating things off the floor but I'm more conservative than I am liberal I guess but that's what we do. You get uh, early access to That's On Point, the podcast that goes live every Monday at 9 p.m. You can get it early. If you can get it the weekend before, once it's done editing, it goes up. And you get unfiltered access to my thought of the day here. And we're going to we're gonna think about adding more benefits, maybe do some extra um, podcasts. We haven't figured that out yet, but we're going to sweeten that pot because the best way to survive is to have our own platform. But anyway, let's get into this. So Biden sent these cuckold politicians to go suck Chinese cuck, and China made them literally bend over a table and, <laughs> and probe the masses with a cotton swab. Uh, now, there's some conflicting articles out there you might have read that says that China denied this. At first, China did deny it, but then China came back and said it was conducted by mistake. <laughs> by mistake. <laughs> These assholes, not only are they capitulating the China, they went over there and allowed them to get anally raped. Like, what the fuck? We need to get these people out of office. If you're willing to allow yourself to be anally raped, you should not be in charge of anything. You just shouldn't be. Like, what the fuck are these people thinking? Like, you're going to wait till you get home to be mad about Like, I would have turned around. I would have been like, well, then I'm done. I'm not. I'm not even like, no, goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see what the BBC has says. Well, yeah, BBC is saying China is denying it, right? But this was as of four days ago. The U.S. media reported diplomats has complained after being made to undergo procedure. Chinese cities yeah, introduced anal swabs, said and it was better. So yeah, so according to BBC, anal swabs involved inserting a, co a cotton swab three to five centimeters. 1.2 to 2 inches in the anus and gently rotating it. <laughs> it is not known how many U.S. men may have had the test. <laughs> like, may have had the test. Like, like, even BBC is like saying, they're saying they denied it, but I don't think they denied it. <laughs> yeah, China gave U.S. anal COVID tests an error, according to Vice. So, like, there's a conflicting news articles on this. I say they did it. I say these assholes. Like, why would you go to China? To suck Chinese cock and capitulate to China and then come back here and complain about being anally swabbed if you weren't anally swabbed. I think China raped them. I do. China probably wants their DNA. Like, how the hell can you test for a respiratory disease with an anal COVID swab? 
That's that's like that's saying that sounds more retarded than wearing double masks. <laughs> we have lived, we have moved into the goddamn twilight zone. I don't know how the fuck we move forward. Like, can we even move forward as a cohesive society when there's this many cuckoo from Cocoa Puffs people moving around? You know, I, I blame it on closing all the goddamn state-run mental institutions in the 90s, allowing all these fucking crazy people to run around and breed and be loose on the streets. Fucking people are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So yeah, that's where we're at. It's 2021, and you get anal probed for a fucking respiratory disease that's not even that deadly. I don't even understand anymore. Like, how did people become this dumb? I don't know. Let me know. What What do you think? Would you allow yourself to get anally probed for dipl diplomacy? Oh, 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 will you will you be on my like me and my camp and get back on that plane and I'm, like, oh, I'm not I'm done with this fucking meeting. I'm done with this meeting right the fuck now. <laughs> oh my god. No. No, just I just the world is insane. What I think they're doing it for other reasons. I think they're getting DNA. It's a good place to get DNA because they they want they want to like get Americans DNA to rule the biotech fucking industry. They've said so. So I think this is just an excuse to get American DNA. I can't believe those assholes allowed it to happen and then complained about it. If you were going to complain about it, how about just not doing it? Turn around and going home, <laughs> putting your motherfucking foot down. <laughs> but no, you bent over and allowed them to give it to you. And they gave it to you. <laughs> they gave it to you, Rob. <laughs> I wonder if it's more comfortable than giving that shit shoved up your nose. Uh, either way, I think it's all ridiculous. But anyways... That's all we have for China today, and then we're going to move on to the next topic. China is fucking going crazy, anal probing people re for ridiculous reasons, and uh, they can fuck off with that. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right. So, we were on Parler. You may have remembered a while back, and Parler got canceled, and then Parler came back, and we've talked about it a little bit, but it doesn't seem like parlor actually came back actually at all um i mean it's there but it's not parlor anymore they fired the old ceo and the, the the service provider they took a contract with to like host their new shit after amazon canceled them has even stricter like speech regulations and stuff in, in the terms of service than amazon did so they effectively they they've effectively bent the knee to this big tech censorship garbage it's only like yeah, no, they, they they have to abide by the terms of service to keep, keep their hosting services. And that terms of service for the new company has even stricter shit than the old one. So um, they pretty much sold out. And they replaced the new CEO and whatnot. I mean, I, I, I don't know why they fired the CEO. Um, we can look that up real quick. But like, Pilot's thing out, selling out, it, it's trending on Gab right now. And um, it's on talking about um and mines it's it's going over the feeds which is why we're talking about it now but uh this is from fox business so you can take it with a grain of salt because you know it's, it's hard to trust media sometimes but we had to get a better source than some of these like some of these independent sources are real nut jobs as well so pilot ceo john matt says he's been terminated by board i did not participate in this decision Parler is terminated, according to me, Matt's and staffers that has obtained Fox News. Yeah, so they basically fired him and then signed on with an, uh, uh, a far left service provider. And they're going to be, they're going to have to follow the rules and sense of speech. Like, uh, they joined Big Tech. 
they literally join big tech. They're gonna start censoring people and stuff too. Like it's, you got, you really gotta go over to mines if you're not on mines already because the. This, uh, well, we can build our other alternatives, which is why we're building our own website. Because I, I, this, this is the stuff's got to keep getting worse until people put their foot down. Uh, they, everybody talks about fifth generational warfare and stuff, but like I, yeah, it's not good for other countries to come in and invade us. They have to use fifth generational warfare because there's too many guns and stuff. But in order for us to unfuck our own mess, one one side is going to have to punch the other side in the throat. You. <laughs> You don't win an argument with a bully by continuing to have an argument. You win an argument with a bully. You get a bully to stop bullying you by bullying the bully. When you start bullying the bully, the bully learns that the bullied can't be bullied, so it stops being a bully. This is this is an, a lesson we've learned from like it's old as dirt. Back, to, <laughs> I can't believe we're still having this argument about like anti-bullying made people soft. You shouldn't be anti-bullying. You should be like pro-bully the bully. Like don't like don't get mad and and yell at the school. Teach your kid to punch that bitch in the throat. <laughs> take your kid could take their suspension like a man. And friend, that's how friendships are formed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How did we become so soft? How did we get here? Like, where the, the free speech havens are going to, like, not become free speech, like, just for money, to, to continue to stay in business. I would have stuck to my principles, even if it meant my business went under. I'm sorry, but I, I would not have signed any contract with any service provider that has these ridiculous speech laws. <laughs> I don't even know if they signed on with an American company. But it doesn't matter. Like Even if that wasn't their intention, those terms of service are going to be applied and they're going to have to capitulate. Or we're going to be round two. Round two, fight! <laughs> uh, and this time there's no excuse because they accepted the new contract under the new terms of service. But I think they fired the CEO and stuff because they, they wanted to take it over by far lefties. Oh, I know the conservative circles are saying that the woman that took over or whatever, Rebecca, what's her name? Like, go back to that Fox News article. Uh, Rebecca Mercer is a far lefty. That's what they're saying. I don't know. But, I mean, that is the common tactic of these far left guys. They... They infiltrate these sh companies and they, they get to the top and then they start fucking them in the ass, making them communist trash. <sighs> so, like, the parlors, like, it failed. It, it sold out. It is no longer the bastion of free speech that it said it was going to be when it said it was coming back and it was going to keep going. Conner conservatives need to leave that platform. we got to come over to Mines. Like mines is the place. There's lefties, there's righties, there's in the Middle East, but nobody's really getting an argument. I mean, sometimes the lefties try, but everyone you laughs at them and, and, and shuns them back into the corner where they belong. <laughs> it's like fucking Game of Thrones. Shame! 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 <laughs> Get that crazy shit back of the core. Shame! <laughs> uh, the world has become... It, we're, we're like the fucking Twilight Zone. We're like the fuckery zone. Like I, I like I like to call it. But it really is. Like, this is like some, like, twisted version of reality where, like, all of the crazy is, like, real. I mean... I guess you could see this com coming. Uh, at least they try to hold out and try to go get new people and stuff and try to get a new contract. But most corporations sell out for money. Everybody bows down to the old holy dollar. I mean, it's been that way for, for a while. And it's sad. That's why I like being...